Hello fish fans, welcome back to the second episode of Fish and Related Things on the Internet. to say thank you to everyone that commented or contributed to the first part video um, so as I said in that first video the idea is kind of spreading some awareness of things that are going on around in the aquatic community if that's even a thing and um, that might be interesting might be annoying might be fun might be none of the above and um, so a few people sent me some links and things to check out and that was great that's exactly what I'm after and I'll be sharing those things with everyone as well um, especially thanks to one of the users called Captain Wynn who went above and beyond and shared a boatload of things with me and got some really great content out of that um, and that's all it's about. But without further ado, let's get on with things. This is not a section about the King of DIY, it just so happens that he keeps doing strange things. Um, the latest, which made me spit my drink out earlier on was this. You can join and be a member of Team Joey for £5 a month. You get a little sticker if you make a comment on his videos. Just leave that there. Don't get it. More power to him. If you can get some suckers to sign up for that then go for it. <laughs> As well as this, we've got Joey on Instagram trying to start some drama, I believe, with DIY Acro Pros, or just, is it Acro Pros these days? Without the DIY? I don't know what the problem is, but for a man who goes around trying to vlog his book full of copied content to the world, and uh, now trying to vlog commenting on his videos for a five or a month, as well as just plain old begging for money to build his gallery that he wants to build and has built now. I think it's a bit rich for him to be complaining about people trying to get a business going on their own or the ways they go about it when he's done things probably as controversially as possible. But there you go. Head over to Instagram or to his page to find out more about that crazy batch mentalist. Anyway, let's move on. So I got quite a good response from my last video when I mentioned a few of the YouTubers that I noticed or started following uh, and people saying it's great that we've got some UK fishy YouTubers to look out for so I thought I'd continue on that theme. So we'll start off with Mark's Aquatics. He was one of the channels that I had somehow completely missed. I'd never seen any of his content before, didn't know he existed and again a few people actually put me onto his channel from the last video so I checked that out it's full of great stuff and he's got tons of videos over 300 videos I think it is um, and it's, there's loads of DIY stuff loads of breeding stuff loads of it's all kinds of stuff on there actually so if you're interested in anything in that area definitely go and check him out and um, he's got loads of experience from what I can tell that I've seen so far He's done loads of the projects that I've got a little list that I keep of things that I want to do and he's got loads of stuff on there. So I was a bit bummed out going, oh, well, can't do that one then, he's already done, oh, can't do that one either, he's already done that. Um, but I'm going to be trying out a few of his methods soon. Um, what have we got first? I'm going to try and breed my Cardinal Tetras, that's my first. I've never bred Tetras before, so he has done it with Neons. I'm going to use his techniques and try it with Cardinal and see how we got on with that. Second one is Pond Guru, and the reason I mentioned Pond Guru is because I've known about him for a while. He helped me out with the filtration for my sump in my big discus tank, um, but he has tons of content on filtration. Now, obviously, he's called Pond Guru. I think he specialises in ponds. He would say himself he doesn't even have an aquarium, um, but a lot of that knowledge is transferable, especially the uh, bigger fish tanks and things like that. Um, but you will also know him as the manufacturer of Biohome Media, Filter Media, which is great stuff. I love it. I'm not being sponsored to say any of that stuff. Um, I just happen to use it and think it's good. Um, but he presents his videos in a way where he's not just selling Biohome, but he'll talk about it in the context 
of all the other medias that are available and how you can use it in different applications. And there's some really interesting stuff. You can learn a lot about filtration by watching some of his videos. Um, especially there's a series going on right at the moment. I think he's about 10 filters in where he's doing Pimp My Filter looking at all the commercially available filters that you and I might have in our houses and trying to take that and make it better. Um, I know various people have done it in the past and Aquarium Co-op have done Pimp My Filter series before but the Pond Guru stuff is really getting through uh, quite a variety of different filters so you'll probably find yours on there and all the little tweaks that he suggests to make for it. Definitely check out Pond Guru and say hello, you probably already know about him because he's actually quite a big channel, I think he's got about 100,000 followers or subscribers. Uh, and the final one I wanted to mention um, is about aquascaping. So I, I'm into aquascaping in that I like it but can't do it. Uh, I've often tried when I set up a new tank or temporarily I'll try my best at aquascaping but generally it falls down to me doing either chucking everything in and seeing what it looks like and moving it around and going, yeah, or getting bored and saying, that'll do. Um, but I've been trying to figure out the more artistic side of it. And one of the channels I've been looking at recently is George Farmer. Now he's a, a UK aquascaper. He's, I think he's even called At The Aquascaper. Um, but he has his own YouTube channel as well. Uh, he does a lot of stuff um, for various companies. So you might have seen him uh, Evolution Aqua stuff or the aquarium gardens uh, stuff you might have seen him from that but he's got his own channel as well where he talks a lot about his background and how he got into it um, and some of that's really interesting so he's obviously started as a, a hobbyist I think he was in the RAF he mentioned in one of his videos and just got more and more into it and finally got to be the kind of number one aquascaper in the UK at the moment and um, some of his stuff is absolutely gorgeous it's beautiful what you can do um, and he does talk you through how you can recreate these things in your your own aquarium. I think he's done a few videos with uh, people who have been competition winners and he's gone along and helped them set up their tanks and things like that um, but it's technically good, tells you about the kind of golden rules or the rules that he uses when he's trying to put together a tank especially the, the main one of consider the angle that you're looking at a tank from that was something that Simple as it sounds, it never crossed my mind that you have a, a flat front surface and you build your aquascape to look good when you're standing right in front of it. But if your sofa's over here somewhere and you always look at it at that angle, then you've kind of wasted it there. So that was one thing that I thought, ah, oh, right, that kind of clicks. So it's full of little tips like that that you just pick up as you're going along, um, as well as some really brilliant camera work and photography skills. Um, so definitely check out those channels. I'll put all the links to these things down in the description, uh, which is just underneath my subscribe button. So if you've not clicked that yet, give that a click. And, uh, that would be very nice. Thank you very much. So in terms of events, I think Macna has just finished. That's a big aquarium convention in the US. And we've got the uh, aquatic experience coming up in a few weeks as well over there. To rival that, we've got Fish Frenzy in the north of England on the 6th of October, I think it is. Let me just get the leaflet up. Yeah, on the 6th of October, we've got um, Barlow's Aquatic Trading and Lancashire Discus Sales are putting on a kind of a show. Um, but it's got trade stands, guest speakers, all that kind of stuff, prizes and giveaways. Um, the only reason I mention it is the tanks I've got in my fish room were built by Barlow's Aquatic Trading and I like discus. So check that out if you want to, go along and see how they're getting on and support them. Um, if you've got any events that you want me to mention in the next video, send me a link, get in touch, uh, my Facebook page down in the links again, uh, let me know and I'll check them out. So that's about it for this episode of Fart. I am not entirely sure it's going to be a weekly thing or just ad hoc. But again, send me all the links to things that you found that you think are interesting and I will definitely check them out and hopefully bring you some more information next time. Thank you for watching and remember to subscribe. Cheers.